Hey friends, I'm Catherine and today I want to make an accordion sketchbook. Um, I am going to be using this sort of mid-weight uh, cardstock. I considered using a watercolor paper for this, but when I had it pulled out they ended up being heavier than I really wanted, though you definitely could use a watercolor paper for this. Uh, these pieces of cardstock are 8.5 by 11, so standard computer size paper. And what we are going to do to make our accordion pages is actually line them up on our scoring board here, uh, top to bottom. And because they're eight and a half, we are going to score it at four inches and eight inches, and then turn it and score it at five and a half. That will divide our paper up into quarters so that our pages, each of our pages for our sketchbook, are going to be four by five and a half. And we're going to do that for all of the pages that we want to use. Um, then I'm going to get out my cutter and cut on that five and a half mark for each of my pages. And because there are only four pages here, I can probably do the cut all at once if I just make sure to line them all up really well. And then slide them in and light it up. I don't recall ever having made this rotary cutter cut through four pages at once before, but we'll see how it does. It probably will. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Totally did. Okay. Okay, that gives us our pages. This extra half inch tab on the side here where we where we did it at eight so that it, it's got an extra half an inch there is actually going to be really important so we're going to take and fold each of those like that so that we've got this v shape you see this little tab here we're just going to fold it the opposite direction of our uh, crease for the center and then Set that whole page aside and do the same thing for all other eight of them. And then what I'm going to do is get a paintbrush that I don't mind ruining, one that's preferably already ruined, and dip it into the glue. There you go. And then spread it on the tab that we folded over, that half inch tab that we've got on there just all the way down as evenly and as thinly as possible so we get this nice even coat of glue on the tab making sure that i don't get anything underneath hopefully because that'll mess things up a little bit and if you do it's pda glue you can always just rub it and it rolls up and then what we're going to do is take the next piece, so exactly the same direction, this one opens up with the tab upward this direction. So we're going to take the next piece exactly the same direction, opens this direction with the tab up, and line it up so that it glues down to that tab. And then press it down really well. Smooth it on, make sure everything's got good contact and adherence, and now we have two, two pieces stuck together, and we're going to do the same thing for the rest of it all the way down. There we have it. One text block for an accordion sketchbook. There we go. With 16 pages each side. So it opens up that way, but it also opens up that way. Which means it's double-sided which means we've got to do something a little bit special and a little bit different for our cover. We can't bind it at one side or it won't be able to open at that side, which means our cover has to be loose. 
Um, for this, I've got bits of chipboard. I've got a bunch of, I've got a bunch of little bits of chipboard from offcuts from making covers of books before. Now. So let's figure out how tall this is because we know that this is five and a half. So that's maybe six. Let's grab this up real quick. Aha, it is, it is exactly six tall. Awesome, so that'll give us a quarter of an inch at either side. And then we know that this is four. So if we cut it at four and a half, it'll give us a quarter of an inch the other way as well. So four and a half, and then that'll put us at nine. And then line up our scissors and try to cut straight lines. On straight lines. There we go. Okay, pretty darn close. Sort of something similar to a straight line anyway. And then do the second one so that our covers are the same size. And now before we get any further, we're going to have to decide if we want something to hold it closed. I think we do, since the spine of the book is not going to be attached. So I do want to wrap these covers in pretty paper. I, I really do want to. Um, and for that, I got this great big paper pack. Um, it's new to me, and I think I want to use this paper. Okay, make sure that it's lined up correctly. I want these going top to bottom, not side to side, like that. And then we will glue these two down. So for that, we will grab up the little bit of glue that's left up on our working mat and spread that out to the corners first thing. Okay. We will squeeze out more glue from our glue bottle. That might be too much. We'll see how it goes. And spread that out evenly as well. Actually, that might not be too much. We will see. Evenly and thinly. Because one, the thinner you spread it, the quicker it'll dry. But two, the thinner you spread it, the less moisture it's introducing to your paper. So the less likely you are to end up with that wrinkled texture that paper gets when it gets wet. Glue can do that to paper. So be aware of the kind of glue that you choose to use. Um, tacky glue is kind of a safer bet. Uh, glue sticks even better, but glue stick is going to have a less strong hold than the tacky glue will. So you've got a trade off with that. Oh, I do have some glue sticks over there I could use actually but I'm already into the tacky glue, so that's fine. And then we'll just take and flip this over and set it sort of kind of equal distances from the top and the bottom and the side. That should be all right. I'm leaving more than a quarter of an inch around each of these sides, and that's going to be important. You want to leave more than a quarter of an inch because we're going to fold our paper over and we need it to um, cover more than a quarter of an inch in on this side so that when we attach our, uh, our text block to it, it doesn't show any of the chipboard. That. Now we need to cut these two apart. We're getting back out our rotary cutter. It's the best for straight lines. All right, and we're just gonna kind of eyeball that to the center. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be good enough. And cut down, and two pieces, perfect. Okay, 
That one and that one. Awesome. Let's just smooth down on the paper side real quick. Make sure everything's good and even and not bubbling. Awesome. All right. Then what we're going to want to do is come around and not quite to the corner, but almost clip each of those corners off. About a scissors width away from the corner is actually, I found just about perfect. So there, you want it to be just enough that it covers that edge when you fold it over. You can get rid of those. The same thing for the other one. Just about at 45 degrees. Doesn't have to be exact. Just has to be sort of 45. So long as you're cut as straight, the rest of the slack will get picked up by the fold. Um, and then what we're going to do is take and spread glue on each of these tabs that we've created. We want that to be just as even and flat and thin as all of our previous ones, but we're going to do it each tab individually and we're going to pick up the rest of the piece of the cover and roll it over so that it folds nicely around that side. And that settles down our glue. And then we're going to do opposite sides from one another. So since we did this side, now we're going to do this side. And that is an accordion book. We just have to attach our text block to our covers now, which is really honestly the easiest part. Um, it's just straight up gluing things. Uh, so what we're going to do is take the first one and set it aside and then pull out our text block and set it aside. And before we do anything else, I want to trim off this last tape. Okay. So now, what we are going to do is take our text block and spread glue on it, not on our cover, because our cover is smaller than our, our, our cover is larger than our text block. If we spread the glue on our cover, um, we might end up over gluing, gluing around the edges where we don't want it to be. So we will put it on our text block and it won't go anywhere but under that page. And we're just going to do it on the outside edge and do enough glue. We really want this to stay stuck to our cover. So we're gonna do enough glue. And because we glued one of each of those sides of paper down to our text block, we've taken out two pages from the accordion. So now instead of 32 pages, it's 30 pages. But we have a book that opens from this side. And if we haven't glued the pages together, we did glue the pages together a little bit. There we go. If we haven't glued the pages together too badly, It'll open up all the way Eesh, don't do that. All the way. There we go. And we can just always slider scissors down that and repair it later. 
I tore that up a little bit. That's okay. Just be more careful with your glue. You'll be fine. And that's one side. And then we can close it and open it from the other side. And that is our accordion sketchbook. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, definitely let me know. I'm always glad to hear from you. Um, I hope you try it yourself. I would love to see your version of the accordion sketchbook, maybe with blank covers so that you can draw on the covers as well, or, or fabric covers. Uh, you can do the exact same thing but, that we did with the paper, but with fabric, that would be awesome. Um, and I hope to see you all another day. Ooh, remember to subscribe. Bye.